Hey guys, Sven here with a new Northcast market update titling the setup for February 22nd, 2024. What a setup it was, both in figuratively and actually in technical terms. So I wanted to highlight to you why all of a sudden we're back at new all time highs. You know, old days when you had a trend break, there would be some consequences. Oh no, not on this market, right back to new all time highs. Now you can all blame the video for that as the single cost, but there's more to it. Now I just want to give you some technical background. Yesterday, publicly on Twitter, I pointed out that actually this market that never seems to correct actually was sneakily correcting underneath. We saw it in Apple, Google, obviously NVIDIA was down yesterday, Tesla had been down obviously for months. So there was a lot of weakness underneath, not only in the broader market that we saw uh, lagging, but we saw it in some of the key tech stocks. So in this case, in this background, the back set basically absurd that the S, uh, that NDX was down only 4%, but it came with consequences. And that is this RSI that was so extremely overbought in January got ever more oversold. In fact, yesterday the RSI hit 26, so screaming oversold. So you're telling me we're kind of breaking down on, on the trend, yet we're as oversold or maybe more so than we were during the October lows? That smells like a setup to me, right? Uh, so you have to be careful there in terms of expectations because any down, further downside would imply this would even get more oversold or it's an indicative of a big bounce coming. And this is where the technicals now come into play. This is from our uh, live alert feed. A couple of days ago, I was talking about a potential bull flag forming on NDX, also very sneaky. And the potential target here was this trend line and the gap fill from early February, right? Confluence. So we're all of a sudden looking at, what, 26 on the RSI on BPNDX. And then as actually yesterday, that area hit perfectly, we had not only a positive divergence, we also had this wedge forming just as this was filled. Oh, it's amazing. So 26 RSI on the BPNDX, and then all these things coming together. And what else happened? One of the things I've been talking about, these super rallies, it's they don't break until the weekly five EMA gets broken. So right at this time, as this was happening, guess what was happening? The S&P again hit the weekly five EMA like it did last week, like it did the week before, like it did the week before. So that's kind of your moment of breakdown. But it, by the way, don't ask you what new means. I don't know what that means either. I think I meant to type but, but I was typing fast in the live alert feed. But the point was the weekly five EMA again got tagged. And then don't say magic isn't real because it held again. And now we have this massive follow through. So basically the, the, the very basic program that still runs through this market remains intact. And you don't have a change in the program until something breaks. So in a sustained basis. So now look at this. So this was the original setup with the view of this gap fill and the trend line tag. Then we had the wedge build and now just a massive breakthrough. Obviously another massive gap. Yes, this market is driven by gaps and you do have to question the sustainability of it all. But the reason it keeps working and the reason why everything continues to get safe right at the moment where it looks like a breakdown is one thing and one thing only. It's not NVIDIA. <laughs> it's not anything else. It's one thing. The easing of financial conditions. And guess what? Again, new high in S&P and new loosening level of financial conditions. That continues to drive everything. But this may also come to an end. And I'll do a separate video of that in the days ahead uh, as there are some rumblings in the system. Um, and they, if this, if this equation changes, then you may have a very different market very quickly. But for now, liquidity rules, easing of financial conditions rules, and this is why you see what you see. And then when you have signals lining up like they did again this week with the signal charts, with the technicals, they then set up for a big rally. I submit. Anyways, if you want to join us on the journey, how we're noodling through this, uh, you can do so via northmantrader.com market services. And that's where we discuss all these technicals and setups as they present themselves 
where we want to consider you know entry opportunities and, and so forth hope that's all helpful uh, new video coming in the next couple of days on the liquidity front hope that's helpful you guys take care